This is no ordinary office building. Completed in 1890, it was the inspiration of Sir William Pierce, the man who had taken Fairfield to the top. Pierce wanted a building that reflected Fairfield's status as the most important shipyard in the world. The building had been lying derelict for eight to nine years. As a local community organisation, we complained very heavily to the owners, Clydeport, about the condition it was in, because it sent out a dreadful message about, about govern, govern, governance closed for business. This. But it's also important to recognise that this isn't just a local building. Fairfield is an iconic building for the city and indeed for shipbuilding in Scotland. The architects were Honeyman and Kepi, who designed many notable buildings in Glasgow and elsewhere. It's interesting to think that the young Charles Rennie Mackintosh, an apprentice draftsman with the firm, quite likely walked through this building under construction and had a hand in its drawings. Here at Fairfield we have a team of excellent volunteers who helped to bring the building to life. One of the things I really love about me being a volunteer here is the vast number of visitors that come here from all over the globe to tell their own stories about family or friends who worked here or live and worked in the government area. This man here is my grandfather and he is one of the reasons that I have chosen to come and be a volunteer at Fairfield. My grandfather started here as an apprentice and worked up to be chief draftsman in the electrical side of things. And I'll come over here and I'll show you something that the children really like to see. I always ask them, what do they think is in here? Money, jewels, all sorts of things. But actually, when we open it, inside are the plans for the ships. I wanted to volunteer at Fairfield because I was very interested in the history of the shipyard and its place in Glasgow's history. It is such a beautiful building to work in and I particularly like the room I'm standing in at the moment, which is the boardroom. This must be what the Atlantic liners that Fairfield was building in the 1890s looked like. Fairfield Heritage is dedicated to telling the stories of some of the people who worked here. So this is the Fairfield building. Please look in. We'd be delighted to see you.